Okay, this is a new idea, and I'm a little surprised they bring it up in an exercise instead of in an example where they can talk it through more, but all good, we'll get through it. What happens here is we have a nesting of two of our differentiation rules, because what we have here is a quotient, and inside that quotient we have a product. It's a quotient because it's a top part over a bottom part, but the top part has a product inside, and that means the derivative of this is going to consist of the quotient rule and the product rule. We're going to need them both. So let's see what that looks like. When we do this derivative, first of all this is a quotient, and so its derivative is going to be and I'm just going to mark this off first, you'll see why in a second. I'm going to do bottom times, I'm just writing out what my quotient rule says, bottom times derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So let's fill that in and see what happens. The bottom is 4x cubed. The derivative of the top, well, here's the top. The top is x to the fourth times 2x minus 1, so as soon as we get to this and we have to do the derivative of the top, I'm going to change colors here, we go into product mode. And we start saying, okay, the derivative of a product is first d second plus second d first. We have to do that inside our quotient derivative. So, derivative of a product is first, x to the fourth, d second is just the number two, plus second, 2x minus one, times derivative of the first is 4x cubed. <sighs> okay. Now we're done with that, we can carry on with the quotient derivative. So, bottom d top done, minus top, which is x to the fourth, times 2x minus 1, and derivative of the bottom, oh, I hid the bottom, I have to bring it back now, derivative of the bottom will be 12x squared, And that's all over the bottom squared, which would be 16x to the 6. Okay. Bottom d top. The top was a product, so we do product rule real quick, and then we revert to doing the quotient rule. And it's just like any time you're doing one job, and then in the middle of it you, have to, you discover you have to do this other job real fast before you can carry on with the first one. It's like... Have to drive to the store, start driving to the store, find out your tire's flat, stop, pump up the tire, get the tire all sealed, carry on, drive to the store, buy milk, come home. You're in the middle of task number one, and then you quickly have to complete task number two, then return to task number one. So quotient, quotient, product, back to quotient. Now, let's see if we can clean this up. It's quite the mess right now, so I'm, I suspect we'll be able to do something with it. 4x cubed. Let's see what we have in red there. 2x to the fourth. We can combine those, of course. Uh, here we have 2x minus 1 times 4x cubed. I can distribute the 4x cubed through the binomial, and I get 8x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. And now we have x to the fourth and also 12x squared, I'm thinking of those as combined because they're monomials and it's easy, distributed through 2x minus 1. So we get minus, let's see, 12x to the 6 times 6 is minus 24x to the 7. So that's this minus sign times x to the 4 times 12x squared and also times 2x. And now I have to do all that again with the negative 1. Minus x to the 4th times this is minus 12x to the 6th times minus 1 is plus 12x to the 6th. 
all over 16x to the 6. This 4x cubed is supposed to distribute through this bracket, so we'll take care of that now. 8x to the 7 plus 32x to the 7 minus, I should have combined these terms, but I'll do it soon, 16x to the 6 minus 24x to the 7 plus 12x to the 6 all over 16x to the 6. Collect like terms, we have 8x to the 7s, 32 more makes 40x to the 7s, then we lose 24 of them, we're down to 16x to the 7s. Minus 16x to the 6 plus 12x to the 6 makes minus 4x to the 6. And that's all over 16x to the 6. Probably a fair place to stop. It's tempting to reduce this. We could divide all of these terms by 4x to the 6 and get something very much simpler. It would be 4x minus 1 over 4, which is certainly a nice improvement. If you wanted to change to that, I'd certainly be right there with you.